Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how I encourage people in South Africa to vote for the DA, the Democratic Alliance, and then people abroad. If you're not a South African citizen, I encourage you guys to learn as much as you can about South African politics and uh, support the DA. Let me explain why, okay? The Democratic Alliance has a permanent plan to lift poor people out of poverty, and they have plans to set up vocational schools and trade schools so people can eventually lift themselves out of poverty. Um, throughout the history, we only know that welfare is just a temporary way to get out of poverty. So they have the trade and vocational programs as a way to permanently get one out of poverty. Also, there have been recently some a mayor um, that's DA, uh, Democratic Alliance, and he gave up his mansion and sold it and used the money to build homes for the poor. So the DA is... To a certain extent, the party of the poor, but they're walking the walk. They're not like the ANC and just talking the talk. They're walking the walk, giving up a lot of their lifestyle so the poor can have a better lifestyle. So they're investing programs, investing their money, investing their time into the poor. That's something the ANC is not doing. The ANC is actually embezzling a lot of money that are supposed that is supposed to go to poverty programs. And this has been happening since about 2000, 2001, maybe shortly thereafter particularly since Nelson, really after Nelson Mandela stepped down in 1999 was when you started to see it. And the ANC, yes, they did help liberate South Africa from apartheid, um, but also, um, it's just all too common in a lot of countries, the liberators or the liberation organizations eventually become the oppressors and they become the corrupt organization because they were involved in liberation like as the ANC was. People think they have an obligation to vote for them whether they agree with them or not. And that's detrimental and that's disastrous because the DA really honors more what Nelson Mandela and Walter Sisulu did uh, rather than the current ANC because uh, as people saw in the movie Invictus, Nelson Mandela gave up a third of his paycheck to charity. Well, the DA is doing a lot of things like that as well. Also, they're an anti-corruption party. And the current mayor of Johannesburg's DA, a guy named Herman Mashaba, and he recently has ordered the arrest of 30 city officials on corruption charges, and he suspended another 91 of them. And three city officials have resigned due to corruption, uh, due to corruption charges. And so they're tackling corruption. Corruption has just been rife in South Africa. But the DA is not a corrupt political party. So in 2019, if people vote for the DA, they're going to have for the first time in a long time a non-corrupt party. And that is very key, have a non-corrupt party. Also, the DA has a good leader, Mamusi Mamani. And he is, was from Soweto, uh, which is a poor township in Johannesburg. But see, Mamusi, he, he grew up poor. Mamusi grew up poor. And he grew up poor, so he understands poverty. Um, his mother was largely unemployed and sold eggs and sold to try to get by. And his mother was largely unemployed most of her life due to the apartheid system. Well, he understands poverty, but his family never let even apartheid keep him down, and he was, and now he's a leader of a major political party. So he understands what it's like to work your way up as well, so he can help encourage and teach other people how to work their way up. And also, he, Mamusi's black South African, is married to a white South African lady. He has led a multiracial coalition that they're gonna that the DA is gonna be a party of ideals and not a party of race, and that's gonna be a key factor that it can help unite South Africa into what Nelson Mandela wanted to be the Rainbow Nation and to follow Mandela's dream on that. So, oh, also, and then the D, the Democratic Alliance is, is committed to bringing police. Uh, to better train the South African police and also to increase numbers of police and also uh, to invest in newer canine units and more canine units to help solve the drug crisis that's plaguing South Africa. The current mayor of Johannesburg, Mayor Mashaba, he's doing that right now and he just created a new canine unit for his police department and that canine unit has become very efficient in uh, seizing a lot of drugs and busting a lot of drug and arresting a lot of drug dealers. And also, carjackings are a major problem in South Africa, but the under Mayor Mashaba, the Metro Police in Johannesburg, they have been able to recover over 400 stolen vehicles and return them to their rightful owners. So I believe the DA will help solve the carjacking problem as well. So hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.